All right, guys, we are back with our fifth and final set of the night. And it looks like we're coming in right as All Felvin is raiding us with a party of six. Thank you so much for joining us, All Felvin. It's great. Yeah, great to thanks be here. for the uh, raid. Alongside me right now is uh, Amy Woke Flossie and her Skype sign, it looks like. What? <laughs> Did you refresh? I have Zygarde. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, Amy, are you looking forward to this fifth and final set of the night? We got Sir Wilson uh, playing against Grape. Yeah, I sure am. I'm going to try to get a prediction set up. You want to talk about the teams while I do that? Absolutely, I would love to. So uh, casting alongside Sir Wilson earlier, and uh, we're still on the same battlefield, but this time he is battling Infernape eats Grape. Uh, Sir Wilson is using a team that I have seen him perform with, and he does a great job. He's got the Kyogre, the Zapdos, the Incineroar, Rillaboom, uh, the uh, Metagross. I'm sorry, I was drawing a blank on that little cotton Pokemon down there, uh, known as Whimsicott. <laughs> <laughs> and his That's name the is the one. How could you I'm forget? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, Kahlua Grape, uh, also known as Grape, is using the Indeedee plus the Dusclops and Vicavolt, who we have seen here. Uh, I think it's been a few weeks. It might have been Grape was the one that used it. Uh, and they're going to also be using Calyrex. Looks like the Ice type uh, in this trick room. That makes a lot of sense. As well as Galarian Moltres and Incineroar as well. Oh, what you, you got uh, Lila's <laughs> Games. Thank you for the follow. I got the prediction a little bit wrong. I said uh, Sir Wilson and Calyrex and Grape and Kyogre. So just know that that's switched. But you're, you're, you're betting on the name, the person. Pick Sir, who... Sir Wilson or Grape? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Digizard, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah it'll so... be interesting to see how these restricteds pair up. Of course, you do see the dust claps on Grape's side, um, potentially wanting to operate in Trick Room, which makes sense given that Calyrex and that Vicavolt. Um, but getting it set up, yeah, I suppose there might be some opportunity, but a Water Spot from Kyogre is sure going to do a lot of damage. Absolutely. And uh, really fast before these two players throw their Pokemon, it looks like it might be a second too late. Um, so it's going to be Dusclops and Ndidi uh, for Grape and for Sir Wilson. It's going to be Whimsicott and Kyogre. But since we do have a raid really fast, I do want to go ahead and mention what is going on here because some people might not know what's going on. Uh, this is Monday Night Friendlies with ATX VGC. We are a community based out of Austin, Texas, but not solely Austin, Texas. So uh, one way you can play in this is if you go to exclamation point discard, discord, join our discord. We uh, sign ups go live. Every Thursday night, or Thursday morning, I'm sorry, at 11 a.m. And they will be live all the way through Sunday uh, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, if you're liking what you guys are seeing, we have live commentary battles of players in our community. So uh, you're going to want to get in on this fun. Nibs, you're not going to believe what I just saw. What did you just see? I just saw Kyogre without Water Spout. <laughs> I am going to believe it because I was talking to Sir Wilson uh, when he was going over and he he is not um, he is very strong forward on not having water spout as a origin pulse. There was a specific bat and he actually oh, just double missed. He might pulse. change that his is, mind after tonight. I think, I think <laughs> he might change his mind after that. Kilo, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, so we are going to see this Trick Room go up, however, from this Dusclops, after we do see the Ndidi uh, go for the Expanding Forces, and the Incineroar switched in from that Whimsicott, so not taking any damage as it is a Dark type, but the Kyogre, however, is taking a big chunk, chunk of damage, and, um... So even if it did think? have Water Spell right now, it probably wouldn't want to click it. Not at this time, <laughs> but before it, it would have done a lot of damage to both of, uh, Grape's Pokémon. I, I like what Sir Wilson's thinking here. I think we're going to see something we don't often see, and that is the Max Incineroar. And I stand, along with Zygarde, I stand the Max Incineroar in Series 8. Absolutely. I think that, uh, given the right set of circumstances, there's a lot of steel and ice Pokemon, like in the legendaries running around. Um, oh. <laughs> I stand the Max Incineroar. I'm a fan. Let's see what happens here. Oh my and of course, goodness. this one is carrying a dark move. Unlike Sarah Wilson, earlier. you are a madman as uh, you are a Incineroar in the rain, and you're going to go ahead and use your Dynamax, and we're going to see a uh, 
An attack go off here into the Kyogre, gonna do 50 base power. Uh, and this Kyogre is just gonna be done for for the rest of this game. Uh, but Dynamax Incineroar has something to say about that. Spreading his arms wide, targeting into that Dusclops, not quite picking up a KO, but uh, still, he's still here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd have let Kyogre go down there. I might have tried to preserve it for later. Of course, you don't really, um, you, you might have switched in your Metagross there. You don't really want to take a ghost move from the... Um, from the Dusclops, but you are weakness policy, and knowing that something like a Nightshade won't knock you out necessarily, I think might have been uh, a good move there. But we see the Metagross on this turn, which is, let's see if it's able to get something going. Absolutely. And uh, pretty interesting to see if we do. Um, I love seeing this Dynamax Incineroar, uh, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's gonna have enough uh, to take Will through this game one. Let's find yeah. out this Metagross is going to protect. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, there's so many different ways to build an Incineroar, right? And um, a lot of them aren't necessarily running uh, or built to hit hard, right? So it definitely, even though it's a max move, may not be the kind of build. Uh, but it is enough to take Ndidi down to what looks like a Focus Sash. Absolutely. And uh, so that that's pretty cool here, too. It seems like he's also trying to kind of wait out this Trick Room here uh, as he does go for that Protect with his Metagross, trying to take as little damage with that thing as possible. Uh, Incineroar, even though it is Dynamax, it hasn't been touched yet uh, through this entire set so far. So um, looks like he's mm -hmm. contemplating his moves here and kind of weighing his options. And he, he is going to replace his Metagross here for the Whimsicott. Yep, doesn't want to get burned. Uh, that's understandable. Absolutely, indeed he is going to go for the redirection, um, so it is going to redirect this Dynamax attack. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is going to come out from the Dusclops, but it was originally the Metagross. As you mentioned, it doesn't want to get burned. Wimscott, however, is going to be the one to get burned, uh, so that Focus Ash will be gone at the end of this turn, presumably the Focus Ash, and this yep. indeed is going to go down thanks to the redirection and follow me. Yeah. I think that, uh, again, we see Tiki in the chat saying Max Incin is the best Incin and looking at a 28 attack Incineroar against a Zacian. I mean, it's no match. Like, it really is no match. Uh, pair it up with something like Misty Terrain and Swagger, and it's even scarier. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Absolutely. That's a pretty cool tech there. I haven't actually thought of that one with uh, Misty Terrain. And Does that actually work where you don't get confused even yeah. in, the, in yeah, the terrain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. I the only problem why is hasn't used that. Yeah, the only problem is they took Swagger away from Tapu Fini this gen, which used to get it, which was perfect. So you've got to run two Pokemon to actually pull it off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it looks like Grape here actually well finally going for their Dynamax option and uh it's gonna be that Vicavolt, so pretty Big interesting touch. to see how this one weighs out. Yep. Awesome. Probably just going for a max Flutterby into this uh, Whimsicott, if I were to guess. And this Whimsicott oh, is just going to opt for a Protect here. And um, let's see what else happens. So Incineroar actually has Protect, which yep. is not not something we typically see. And it's actually just going to be a Rock Tomb coming out from I the Dust Cloud. Uh, self clue as to what the item is. <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. Self-procking the weakness policy of the Vicavolt here on Grape side of the field. I think uh, Sir Wilson is probably feeling like he is in danger as Max Fluttery is going to come out through the Protect, still going to do almost 50% damage. That is a lot of damage. Yeah, which does give you the indication that this may be a more offensive variant of Incineroar. That did a lot of damage through Protect, and we saw the amount of damage it was able to deal out in the Dynamax. So, uh, Maybe this Incineroar is designed to hit. Absolutely. And uh, as you mentioned, with, with the Protect on the Incin, it kind of does kind of, it does reveal almost something of a more offensive uh, Incineroar rather than, than a more bulky defensive kind of Incineroar. This Incineroar wants to do damage is what we were trying to say. Yes. Did Trick Room expire? Did you see? I did I not I see, uh, but I believe it, I believe it just did. It should be taken down. Yeah, a Trick Room is expired. So now, you know, that Vicavolt is going to be um, sitting there. That Moon Blast from the Whimsicott is enough to finish off the Dust Clops, too. Yeah, 100%. And uh, Flare Blitz going to come out from this Incineroar, going to do a large chunk of damage into this Dynamax Vicavolt. 
but not quite picking up the KO. Max Fluttery coming out from the Vicavolt into the Incineroar once again. And uh, that is going to be enough. So returning attacks there is the Incineroar and the Vicavolt. And the Vicavolt coming out uh, with the higher hand as it does have that plus two uh, special attack stat. We Offensive Incineroar attack. confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, 100%. All right, so Metagross, the Strutter, going to come back out onto the field, and it is a shiny one. Uh, cool. Strutting his stuff with the shines. <laughs> and oh, Calyrex. still has that Calyrex. <laughs> yeah, we saw how, how much pressure late game Calyrex could put forth uh, in previous sets here tonight, and uh, we're going to see it again here with Grape as Sir Wilson only has two Pokemon left on the side of the field. Let's see if that Metagross has enough strength to overcome Grape and uh, their Calyrex and Vicavolt. Yeah, I mean, you're threatening super effective damage on this Calyrex. Mm -hmm. um, the Vicavolt is another story, but I don't know that the Vicavolt can knock you out in one hit either. So, um, we'll yeah. see. At, at plus two, I mean, Will is staring down the face of a plus two Dynamax Vicavolt uh, into oh, this Oh, that's Metagross. true. It is plus two. <laughs> I forgot about that. And it has access to Max Flutterby, which I believe is neutral. I think it's resisted by Steel and super effective by um, yeah. uh, by Psychic there. Uh, and it is going to be a protect from the Calyrex. Moonblast going into it, not going to do any damage. Zen Headbutt comes out from the Metagross oh, into the Vicavolt. Just not short. Quite be enough to pick up the KO. Steel Spike, like however. Targeting down the Whimsicott. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hmm. so uh, this potentially last and final turn is just going to be uh, Will and his Metagross versus Vicavolt and the, the Calyrex. Yeah, of course, uh, we did see the spread move Earthquake on the Metagross, but Earthquake's not going to affect that uh, levitating Vicavolt. So uh, it'll be... Uh, of course, you could call the Protect on the Vicavolt, maybe, and just Iron Head into the Calyrex. Um, but I'm not sure that Vicavolt's going to protect. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Grape hasn't seen the set yet for Sir Wilson just yet, so uh, could potentially predict that there's a, there could be a Rock Slide on this Metagross. I mean, you saw Protect on the Incineroar. Who knows what Sir Wilson 17 has on his Metagross? Then, of course, you've got to ask yourself, like, if things do go awry in that way, like, the Vicavolt goes down, what does the Calyrex have to hit this Metagross? Um, that could potentially, you know, not proc the weakness policy and take a plus two Iron Head in return. Yeah, so Sir Wilson just going to opt for that Earthquake there, potentially uh, thinking that it maybe Levitate wasn't on wow, the uh, Vicavolt. But, yeah, but that high horsepower going to do tons of damage uh, from the Calyrex. Going to bring Metagross all the way down to 17 and finally reveal that weakness policy. Thunderbolt coming out from the Vicavolt, and that's going to be the end of game one here uh, in favor of Infernape Grape. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a good game. I think it was a, a close finish. Um, what do you think that Sir Wilson should do to like uh, maybe make some adjustments in the next game? I think Sir Wilson is going to need to find some ways to stop uh, psychic terrain from being put up uh i think he's going to need to use that potentially maybe use that zapdos and try and, and fend oh, off oh set the terrain that way yeah i was thinking the rillaboom and then i'm like rillaboom doesn't want to face the calyrex or the moltres really or the incineroar for that matter i mean um, Cali, calyrex being an ice type i don't know if zapdos really wants to go up against it he's gonna have to really get rid of this calyrex in in some some serious fashion maybe don and axe that uh metagross what do you think I think that could work. Mm -hmm. Yep, the problem is you have to get it in the right position without getting burned by the dust claps, right? There's no way to set up a misty terrain unless, of course, you Dynamax that Whimsicott, which has happened before, but uh, you probably that's probably not optimal. Yeah, I would 100% agree. And it looks like Sir Wilson here knows exactly what he wants to do here, uh, knows what, what he needs to do against Grape. And Grape has finally selected their Pokemon as well. Let's see what kind of adjustments these trainers here make in game two of set number five, the last and final set of the night. Yep. It's been a pretty exciting night. I still got Chase here behind me, even though he's in the chat. I'm I'm excited about it. <laughs> yeah, Chase saying that it's also not very we can pop hop you you can hop in the call, Chase, and we can uh, bring you on stream. <laughs> it counts how we do it. <laughs> He's like yeah. it's also not very defensive Metagross, so that makes sense as to why it got hit so hard with that high horsepower from the glass chair. 
Yeah, 100%. So we do see Grape kind of sticking to their methods uh, with the Dust Clops and the Indeedee lead. Uh, potentially gonna just opt for some redirection, could opt for some expanding force shenanigans. Let's see I what gotta we see. say though, if that Origin Pulse had hit both targets in the first turn of the last game, it could have been a very different game. Oh, 100%. If it was a water spout, it may have been different as well. Um, the thing is though, Will Will wants, he wants the thunder and he wants the ice beam. And I get it. And with good reason, there are things that that needs to hit. And he, the way that he looks at it is um, water spout only works at a certain health, basically. Was that so, a light screening Zapdos? That was a light screen on the Zapdos. And we are going to see the Origin Pulse here coming out from the Kyogre. Going to do tons of damage to the Ndidi yep. and a huge chunk of damage to this Trick Rooming Dust Clops as well. Yeah, I think Will's in a way better position than last time. Um, that Kyogre just almost one hit KO that Ndidi and um, didn't take any damage. Yeah, if I'm Sir Wilson in this in this position, I am going to opt for the Protect here uh, from the Kyogre. He's going to opt for the Double Protect. I think one thing you really need to watch out for is that Expanding Force is coming from the NDD as it is. We saw before how much damage it did to the uh, Kyogre, and we we could predict it to... Well, we could potentially see it do just as much damage if Sir Wilson is not careful, and it looks like he is weighing his options here as well. Are we going to see a double switch? We might see a double switch. I'm not sure how much damage this expanding force will do to uh, to the Zapdos, but one thing I, I would kind of consider is going for that, going for like a hurricane into Ndidi and just getting rid of that thing. If yeah. you can't follow me away stuff, you can start targeting down whatever slot you really want to. I think this is an okay option, except for the threat of that burn from the Dust Clops. The Metagross switches in here and resists that um, expanding force, and Cinderor doesn't take any damage at all. Um, and if the Dust Clops goes for a Nightshade onto the Metagross slot, you get your weakness policy. But instead, it's just into the Incineroar. Yeah, I agree. So we are going to see that expanding forces come out from the Ndidi, and uh, as we see, it resists. Uh, it's resisted from the Incineroar, and hardly does any damage. It does 16 HP to the Metagross. So let's see how our trainers adjust here. Kind of interesting to see an Incineroar piloted without having a fake out on it. Oh, Nightshade doesn't proc weakness policy? I thought it did. I'm hmm. not sure either. You learn honest. something new every day. This game keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah, and we see Santaka saying, Will gave, gave the team a pep talk before. Uh, so that NDD is going to be withdrawn there by Grape. Uh, Vekavolt is going to be the one that comes out. So let's see how Will makes his adjustments. Metagross is going to go for that Protect, trying to weigh out the Trick Room turns. And um, Rock Tome is going to come out, so just going straight for it. Doesn't do a lot of damage. That's pretty pretty interesting. So Weakness Policy is going to be procced before it's even on the field, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because it's a fixed damage move, uh, Nightshade does not proc the Weakness Policy. Mm -hmm. It kind of behaves Ebenezer selling us like Nature's Madness on Galarian Moltres. Interesting. Was that a Flare Blitz into the Dust Claps? It was a Darkest Lariat. Darkest Lariat. To you. Look at all that. All that. <laughs> yeah. There are so many different things going on in this game right now. It's, this is yeah. what I love about the restricted format, though, is that's how it is. I yeah, love that. Yeah, 100%. There's a bunch of adjustments being need. Uh, Weather, need to terrain, screens, speed, like all of these things going on at once. <laughs> Stat drops, stat yeah. boosts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does Vikavolt have Levitate? <laughs> Sorry, Will. <laughs> All right, so this Vikavolt is going to Dynamax one more time, and uh, Incineroar is going to opt for the Protect. We saw it before. Let's see if it makes the adjustment. Uh, Metagross just going for the Double Protect here. Will O Wisp coming out, and it is going to land. So that Double Protect not working is going to go into Grape's favor here, as Metagross is going to be severely hindered as a max lightning is going to come out targeting down this incineroar and not doing a whole lot of damage through that protect but it does still do non-zero damage and changes the terrain so something to be noted about there yep i think will is just <laughs> at this point trying to stall out the trick room until he can get his restricted back in to do some more heavy damage and stall out this dynamax vicavolt in the meantime
Yeah, that's a tough call if you're in Will's position. I mean, if, if I'm sitting in his seat, I'm probably going to switch uh, Metagross out, uh, kind of predicting that Will West comes in, and, and you throw in either Zapdos or you throw in Kyogre. A special and, attacker, yeah. But the thing is, whichever one you throw in there, they are... are They're not they're... going to like a Vicavolt hit. Right, they're not gonna like seeing seeing like a max lightning if that were predicted. If everything, if every option was covered for there, and it looks like that was probably what was being covered for in the incineroar slot. So uh, yeah, not to thinking. mention the max flutterby that could come from the Vicavolt in the case that you do bring a special attacker in, and there's still turns of trick room left. Like even if the burn doesn't matter, it's kind of like uh, Grape has answers to both the physical and special attackers on the opponent's team. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Ndidi comes back out, so switching, switching the terrain over one more time is the Ndidi. Going to be the Psychic terrain. Battlefield getting weird. Actually going to uh, be a Psychic attack here coming from the Metagross, going into the Vicavolt. Doesn't do a whole lot through that burn. There's going to be a Darkest Lariat targeting down that Dusclops, but it is going to be enough to take out the Ndidi. Yeah, maybe the dust clap, or maybe Grape's just thinking I could preserve my dust clap, sack and DD here, maybe get it back in to set up another trick room if need be. Um, mm -hmm. Not wanting to let uh, Kyogre just run away, because remember, Will still has his Dynamax left, mm -hmm. um, and Grape's is coming to an end. Yeah, exactly. So uh, one thing to kind of mention is the Pokemon that's going to benefit from this uh, electric terrain is actually Kyogre. It's not Zapdos. Zapdos does not have the option for the Rising Voltage, and if I recall correctly, and please correct me if I am wrong, it only works for Pokemon that are already grounded. That I are think touching so, the ground. yeah. The Flying Mons or the Mons that are off the ground don't get the benefit of the terrain, unless, which I guess means Vicavolt is not... Oh, unless it has what? Rising Voltage. Oh. So if Zapdos uses Rising Voltage, it's a move that comes from the ground technically, which is why I think it works that way. It is the only move that is um, that Zapdos Weird. could use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Uh, Chase included, and a anybody else, or even Amy, if you feel so like So much I... mechanics. No, I always have <laughs> mechanics questions because there's mm -hmm. so many. And I think Sir Wilson was actually the one that told me that. So it makes a lot of sense why he's the one to bring out the Kyogre yeah. in this situation. Uh, it get, I mean, yeah. And he still has his Dynamax option here too. So it, not out of it at all. Yeah, and I know it was in Psychic Terrain, but that um, Psychic move from the Metagross, I mean, it's a decent ch chip damage to this mm -hmm. Dynamax Vicavolt. So... <laughs> She says rising voltage doubles if the target's on the ground. The user doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind. Of, it's like unfortunate for me being such a Zapdos lover. Like I, I, you know, you love Zapdos too. We had this yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. last week. <laughs> Definitely, Cantonian Zapdos is good. One hundred percent. So it is going to be a Cherish Ball here, getting that Dynamax. What does Will have in a the Cherish Kyogre. Ball? Well, his I don't think Metag it's the Metagross. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to want to Dynamax your burned Metagross, but it is shiny, so you never know. Look at this thing. Smile. And it had a mark, didn't it? Oh, man. If you guys if you guys are subscribed to Joe UX9 in the chat, please spam those emotes. They are hilarious. It is going like to be a max dynamax. I spamming them out of order. <laughs> I think that's really funny, too. <laughs> it is going to be a max guys are coming out from this big this big old whale that is Kyogre into the Vicavolt. No more bugs. No more bug. Gonna be plenty of damage to get rid of the stat boosted stinking bug on uh, Grape's side of the field. As we saw the threat that it is, and Metagross doesn't care about the burn as it is still gonna get that KO into Dusclop. So, Will playing around here, um, playing around that burn and playing around his disadvantage. He, he, what he, he's weak to, I think, mostly is Trick Room. Yeah, and I think that that just speaks to also a restricted mm -hmm. format. Now, granted, it's only one restricted, but really, when you have one restricted, you want to support that restricted. And it's a lot about positioning. It's a much more calculated format, I think. It's much more about getting your Pokemon in the right position at the right time, right? You mm -hmm. don't want to bring it in when there's one turn left of Trick Room, like we saw from, from Will. That's crit. Oh, yeah, that was a crit. Max Geyser in the rain. It's a huge, huge move, but I, don't, um, I think the crit did matter. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure if the crit really did matter, but I could not believe. Chase, this is a question for you, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're the one person. Bring them from your brain. Bring them straight out of your noggin. Typing them into the chat. Yeah. We know how you're doing it. 
<laughs> what's the cap? Yeah. Man, Chase, what's the cap, man? <laughs> Did it matter? <laughs> it wasn't Max, guys. You guys are <laughs> out of control. We game have another three. game three. Game, game three, chat. <laughs> Sam the whale oh. parts. <laughs> whale parts. Well, that's so funny, man. <laughs> Max guys are coming from uh, Kyogre into non Dynamax, Calyrex, Ice Rider, Mystic Mystic Water plus Rain Origin Pulse. Is it yeah. Mystic Water? I don't think it's Mystic Water. He's got yeah, three it, separate it attacks. Right. It is. It is Mystic Water? You see it right now on the screen. <laughs> like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> we just have to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> and then put a little arrow showing the mystic water. <laughs> mystic water on this Pokemon right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, that so was some fun stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's see how these guys uh, predict their their game three sets, and it is going to be the the third straight game three that we're going to see here after our first two games went only to game two. I'm very excited for this one. I know Sir Wilson is excited oh. for this one. He's probably gonna call me after this this ends. Oh, well, actually, he might not. Doesn't look like the crit mattered. Yeah. So Sir Wilson is gonna just opt for that same lead from game two that worked out for him. It's gonna be the Zapdos, the beautiful Zapdos, and the Kyogre, who is uh, the best Pokemon in the format. Everyone keep using it. Uh, don't use Reshiram. Reshiram's bad. No, don't use Reshiram. I can beat Kyogre <laughs> with a Zygarde. I promise. <laughs> so uh grape here is actually going to change things up just a little bit it's not going to be in dd this time around instead it's going to be the incineroar another pokemon that starts with the letter i next to dusclops <laughs> so pretty cool <laughs> let's see what happens here what is sir wilson going to do this time there's a light screening zapdos on the field which is very cool i kind of like this pairing with the thunder of course the um accuracy being boosted in the rain that kyogre mm -hmm. is going to set up uh, will will go for the Max Geyser? Will he max the Kyogre here or just go for that sh inaccurate, relatively inaccurate origin pulse again? You know what? You know what I think would be awesome? What? If uh, Sir Wilson predicts the fake out going into Zapdos, maxes the Zapdos, max lightnings into it and thunders into the Dusclops and KOs the Dusclops. I don't know if it would KO, but that would, that would just be really cool. And I also think that um, Zapdos is is pretty decent against this team barring the uh calyrex santaco San, santacos i see i see nose plays english in the chat that's so fun <laughs> another pokemon with the letter uh <laughs> <laughs> light screen coming out from from wills after. sorry that's super <laughs> it's gonna funny be, it's gonna be a guy <laughs> going into the dust gloves does plenty of damage uh incinero we're just gonna go for a parting shot so pretty cool that he didn't go for the uh, Max Lightning here from the Zapdos as uh, Incineroar is just going to go for the parting shot and return back to the Pokeball. Let's see what Grape has in exchange. Yes, we're super professional here at ATX VGC. Another <laughs> Pokemon that starts with I. Look, I get it. Like, we've been through a few of these battles tonight. Like, it. We're you know, having fun. Sometimes your brain that. just doesn't remember it. Like, I couldn't remember the name of Garchomp <laughs> earlier, and I literally have it Googled on my window right now. Like, Adam, you asked for me to do that, kind of, sort of. <laughs> 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 the Count VGC. <laughs> We're gonna see Trick Room get set up. Let's not forget there's a game going on here. Trick Room's yeah, gonna get set up by Dust Pops. Sesame Street plays VGC. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know if the Hurricane Plus cool. Geyser would KO the Clops. I really don't know. I think maybe they were afraid of the... F uh, Will was afraid of the fake out from Incineroar. Yeah, so Trick Room is set up, so... Uh, the Dusclops has done its job, and that Incineroar is just going to opt to go back in. Getting those Intimidate drops, so if uh, there is a physical attack on Will's side of the field right now, it is duly hindered. And that Zapdos is actually just going to come out. Uh, we know that there is no physical attack on uh, either Kyogre or Zapdos, but maybe Grape doesn't. I'm not sure. So uh, Incineroar does come out for Sir Wilson this time around, uh, as the Calyrex is there as well. Going to go for the Protect this time from Grape. Uh, let's yep. see what happens next. The Max guys are likely targeting down... Oh, it is targeting down the Calyrex, so through Protect, not going to do a whole lot of damage, but we do know from that calc we saw earlier that if this is a modest Kyogre, then that Max Geyser will KO that Calyrex. 
if it's yeah. not Dynamaxed. Absolutely. So the, the cool thing that's kind of going on between these two players is I don't think either player technically knows whether there's a fake out on Incinera or not because there's psychic terrain that is currently set. So sure. nobody wants to use it. So they yep. could think that like Will is playing around it and that fake out pressure is going to be there the entire time. Yeah, and I also don't think that they know which Incineroar um, has the speed advantage uh, in mm -hmm. Trick Room and out, because I don't think we've seen them um, kind of com compare comparing to each other. Yeah, exactly. And Sir Wilson's Incineroar just going to go for that parting shot into Grape's Incineroar. Uh, we're going to see the Strutter come back out. That's the shiny Metagross strutting its stuff out there on the field, getting the shines. Parting shot going to go into Kyogre from Grapes and Cinderor, gonna lower that special attack stat, hinder that that uh, Kyogre just a little bit, and uh, let's see what happens next. <laughs> Bring the Calyrex back out to um, kind of shake off that Intimidate, but now the Incineroar has pivoted to the back and is free to come back in on the next turn. So while you did get a special attack drop, which may now not pick up this Calyrex, with the chip damage, I gotta think it will though. Wow. Looks like, oh, nope, it hangs on by just a little bit. Uh, so now the Incineroar is free to come back in, maybe even for that uh, Kyogre to get rid of that special um, attack drop from the parting shot. Yeah, I, I got to admit, Amy, I, I'm really liking Sir Wilson's board position here as um, he's got two full health Pokemon on his side of the field. Mm -hmm. Calyrex is very weak. It can do a lot of damage to what Will's got on his side, but... Um, I, I think I think an advantage will here in this situation as we are going to see a Nightshade going into Kyogre. Let's see if a, well, it's actually just going to be a close combat coming oh. out from Calyrex. It's going to be enough to get that KO. So pretty interesting here. Let's let's see what Will goes for. What do you think it's going to be, Amy? I mean, it might be an Iron Head into, uh, it might want to get rid of the Dust Claps. The Calyrex loses its Life Orb damage. So I think, I don't know who it targeted because the Calyrex, of course, just goes down. But that Dust Claps, of course, is threatening a burn oh. onto that Metagross. So you don't want that sticking around either. Yeah, so that Iron Head is going to be enough to clear the rest of the field. It looks like Metagross is the only one standing at this moment, but our players are not done yet. Vikavolt is still here at full health. Uh, and I don't believe Grape has actually even Dynamaxed yet either. So nope. still, still, who knows who has advantage? It has been raining this entire match. <laughs> yeah, but way. now you don't have the uh, <laughs> rock move from the Dust Clops, the self proc the weakness policy on the Vikavolt. So I don't think you're in as dominant a position if you're Grape. Um, the Kyogre is gone, which is the main thing that you bring the Vikavolt to target, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so Metagross going for that protect. We see ATX VDC in the chat saying self flare blitz in the rain. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. I think that'll still I do mean... a ton of damage, but we are finally going to see that fake out coming from an Incineroar. So three games in, one fake out from an Incineroar going in. I like protect. that. I like that. Doesn't do anything. I like that as well. That's pretty. It's pretty cool. And there's there's no terrain, so very nice. No dimensions either. There is yep, the least going out. on. <laughs> there is the least going on in this entire match that we're seeing right here in this set five, uh, game number three. I'm curious to see what what could possibly happen. Yeah, right it looks like uh, Will is going to switch out that Metagross for the Incineroar, mm -hmm. get an Intimidate down on the opposing Incineroar, mm -hmm. um, as well as, uh, you know, like get rid of the Intimidate. Oh, no, it has clear fight. Never mind. It wasn't Intimidated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so we are going to see that Vikavolt finally get that Dynamax here in Game 3. It's been the Dynamax option, I believe, all three games here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I agree. If that was the time, if there was ever a time to sell Flare Blitz, it was in the rain. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100%. It's kind of like Surf on Colossal. Like, every time I see somebody do it, I hope it crits. Like, I'm My just favorite. like, I hope your Colossal's down to one-third health by the time we are done with this shenanigan. So we are <laughs> going to see a parting shot come in uh, after the light screen goes off from the Zapdos. Parting shot goes into the Zapdos as well. And that's going to be a big Max Lightning going into the Zapdos. So something to think about there i think metagross cleanup here might be good if uh sir wilson can just kind of mitigate the damage from this vikavolt while doing enough damage to it as well 
Yeah, and when you have three Pokemon left and one of those Pokemon is Incineroar with Parting Shot, I feel like, and your opponent has two Pokemon left, I feel like that's always a good situation to be in. Yeah, I would agree. And I see Chase in the chats mentioning one time I Aqua Jetted my non Dynamax Glossal and Crit <laughs> Okoda. I love, I love it. You that. deserve it. You deserve that, it. <laughs> that happened to me, but it was my opponent one time. Chase and it was it it made my day. It was it was like not a good day and then it was a oh, great good. day because that was you hate it when it happens to you. But oh, absolutely! It's hilarious when it happens to someone else. <laughs> Whole day made right there. So Sir Wilson still has three Pokemon on his side of the field, and um, that's good news for him as he's gonna try and do everything he can to mitigate this damage. But let's see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a Max Lightning coming out. Targeting into what was the Incineroar, but is now the Metagross does 50% damage still. That's a the lot of light damage. light screen, yeah. Through light screen, exactly. That yep. is, that's impressive damage. No joke. Yeah, of course no the joke. electric terrain's up now. I don't, and oh no, I'm, that's not going to matter because it's levitating, right? Did I get that right? It is, it is. <laughs> I believe so. I'm, I'm sure it works with a levitate user just as well as a flying type. So Zapdos yeah. is going to come out again, so... It, Tons of pivoting we're seeing here in Series 8, especially this this set specifically right here. It's going to be the Incineroar coming coming back out, trying to reduce that opposing Incineroar's attack stat as much as possible. And uh, Protect is going to come out from the, the stuttering uh, Metagross. And uh, Flare Blitz is going to come out, going into that Protect from the Metagross. Steel Spike's going to come out, targeting down what was... And actually, no, it is into the, pr the protecting Metagross and uh, only does, I'm just going to call it non-zero damage as I, I like to, but going to boost the defenses. So pretty well, interesting here. We still, it's, it's not, not, not zero damage either. It's definitely. Yeah. It's like 0. 0.5, <laughs> 1 HP. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so I think the Metagross is kind of contemplating what move to click here, right? The Earthquake, again, not going to hit that big of ult. Um, the Incineroar is free to kind of uh, either cycle out, uh, bring the Zapdos back in. We'll see. Will has some options. Yeah, and Metagross and Incineroar are still relatively healthy. And it looks like it looks like Sir Wilson is still considering a swap here. So we're we're not done with the swapping in and out here for Sir Wilson. It looks like. <laughs> Well, I mean, seeing the amount of damage that Max move did to Metagross, um, you know, you probably want to mitigate as much of that as you possibly can before you, like, go in for the... And and you know that this Vikavolt has weakness policy also. Yeah, so that Flare Blitz coming out, going into what was that Metagross, is now the Zapdos brings it down to 29 HP. So we're getting closer here to the end game, guys. Uh, Incineroar here just going for the Darkest Lariat, ignoring stat changes. That's a smart move there, Will, yep. as you're also getting the critical hit and bringing it down into the yellow. Uh, Max Lightning goes into the what was a doubled into Metagross, was now a doubled into Zapdos, and it's going to bring it uh, out of the game finally, so it's going to it's gonna get the knockout there is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, and here the earthquake from the Metagross should be enough to take uh, should be enough to take care of this. I don't know if it's enough to take care of this Incineroar because I don't know how Grapes Incineroar is built, um, but certainly the Flare Blitz um, from Will's Incineroar will be enough to take out that Mega Bolt. Oh, it's gonna protect. Oh wow, yeah. So great targeting here. Uh, from Sir Wilson, um, a little unfortunate, I guess, from Grape. As it, <laughs> wait, is this? <laughs> so what we're seeing here is what a double are we attack seeing? and a double parting shot. <laughs> they both got the same tricks up their sleeves. Are you guys like talking to each other right now about what you're gonna do? Okay, you you double protect you you protect your attacker right now, and I'm just gonna parting shot into your your support mon. We're gonna we're gonna figure some stuff out. Oh uh, yeah, funny. I'm probably trying to stall out some turns of light screen as we see ATX VGC saying in the chat. That makes sense. But we know already that Will's Incineroar looks to be pretty offensive. Absolutely. And we see Kellogg in the chat saying it's a party <laughs> match. That's that does Going for so the little flinch damage. On the Incineroar. So we are gonna see uh, Flare Blitz come from 
The grapes, grapes in Cineroar, and that is going to be a crit. That's going to be enough to get the knockout. So all those parting shots and all those stat changes, none of that matters now as that Incineroar is going to knock out. And Flare Blitz does come out from Will's Well, look uh, at this Incineroar. end game. <laughs> Incineroar, Incineroar. I'm seeing two cats I facing love each it. other. I love it as well. We see two red tabbies. Uh, <laughs> looks like Will's, Will's Incineroar has a little bit more health. Uh, than grapes and Cineroar, so kind of interesting. Uh, what are you What are you doing here? <laughs> Cat versus I imagine Cat you're parting shotting. I don't know if grapes uh, and Cineroar has any moves. I don't know who forfeited even. <laughs> it, it looks, looks like, like it, looks it like is. Grape yeah, I'm kind of surprised in that. Maybe maybe its only attack was the flare blitz, flare and, blitz. and they knew that. Mm -hmm. And they knew that uh, Sir Wilson also had the darkest Lariat there as well.